。二零一八年三月十八日，佛罗里达州西奥斯伯勒县警方接报，报警人正被男友袭击，在生前发出最后的哀求。我们来听下当时的报警电话录音。案发时，刚刚八岁的罗尼亲眼目睹了自己的亲生父亲残忍杀害了自己的母亲和姐姐。I remember feeling scared, not knowing what was going on, why this was happening. 随后，罗尼的父亲转向自己，向罗尼捅了二十多刀，并且最终点燃罗尼身上的衣服，企图将其焚烧。西奥斯伯勒县的布莱尔警员率先抵达案发现场，他被眼前的惨象深深的震撼。It was the most gruesome case I'd ever worked. We were told that there was um, one of, there was a child being. Medevaced to Tampa General, but he was not expected to live. He has to be a miracle. The the fact that the injuries that he sustained, and what he went through, there's absolutely no reason he should be alive. 杀人恶魔最终在法庭上坚持放弃寻找律师，自己为自己辩护。Go over and take your time looking at it yourself to see whether I'm lying or not. 更令人匪夷所思的是，嫌犯当庭质问此案唯一的目击者，也是自己的亲生儿子罗尼。最终，法官判处嫌犯谋杀罪名成立，被判终身监禁。参与此案的法官对嫌犯这样说道 ：“I'm going to look the eye and tell you this is the worst case I've ever seen.” 而就在案发的几周后，布莱尔警员第一次来到医院看望当时极度虚弱的罗尼。罗尼拉着布莱尔的手，微弱地说道。你能和我一起看部电影吗 ？And he kind of held onto my hand, and as I left, and he said, "Could you watch a movie with me?" And I said, "No, I can't. I gotta go back to work." And I, I said, "How about I'll come back and watch a movie with you tonight?" And、um, he said, "Okay." And then he went back to sleep because he was on a lot of painkillers and medication. And so I called my wife, and I, we were planning to go on a date night that night. And I said, "Hey, instead of doing date night, do you mind?" If we go watch a movie with this kid, I had already known that that I would want to take Ronnie home with us starting that night. 几个月后，负责罗尼监护的工作人员打电话给布莱尔警员，询问其有无合适的人员可以领养罗尼。And I said,、um, she said, "Do you know anybody?" And I'm like, "Yeah." I said, "Well, we'll take him." And she kind of was like, "Excuse me." I said, "Just bring him to our house." And she's like. Are you serious? And I said, Yeah. And she says, Well, do you think you should talk to your wife first? And I said,、oh, Yeah, I should probably give her a call. 就这样，在二零一九年，罗尼正式加入了布莱尔的大家庭，成为了布莱尔夫妇的第六个孩子。I go to like a different church. I have a different brother and a sister. I have different mom and dad. And like at, I have a different house.、Um, it's pretty. Cool to be with them. 布莱尔希望罗尼想起自己的妈妈和姐姐时，脑海中浮现的是那些美好的回忆。She was nice, pushed me on a swing, made me some good wings, made me all type of food, and、uh, she was just a good mom. My sister, she couldn't talk, but she still like, she still like to、um, move her head and say like, we used to do sign language. She was very nice. He knows he has a story that has been written for him. He also knows that he doesn't want to be defined by that story. Ronnie 喜欢科学课程，喜欢和他的新哥哥们一起玩耍。他的梦想是成为一名演员。布莱尔警员还特地为罗尼定制了一句在祷告时所说的话，希望其尽快忘记不堪回首的过去，融入到这个新的温暖的大家庭。We established kind of a, a、um, mantra for him. That he, to this day, if you were to ask him, what's what is what is what's the mantra that you live by, as it goes to the family, and it's I am safe, I am loved, and I am part of this family. 庆幸的是，布莱尔警员一家对罗尼的关爱正逐渐让罗尼走出不堪回首的过去，积极的拥抱未来。He's just a little brother now. I had no idea going into it that I was about to meet my future son.